Hello friends, welcome to the 6th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have seen how to create backend controller. And so we have created the backend controller. Like uh, we can access like task create. So here you can see welcome to create task. Now in this episode, we will see how to create sub menu. Like when I am uh, mouse hovering here we can see several sub menu so in this uh, episode we will create different sub menu for our component and we will attach different task to our sub menu so let's start so at first uh, we need to open the manifest xml file here now you have to define the sub menu under administrative block so here we will define sub menu so let's create a sub menu block node sub menu sub menu now inside sub menu we will create different menu item so menu link option equal to com underscore my com and task equal to create now here we will display the link create task so here we can uh, use our language file so menu create let's create um, two list task list task and one more that is let's create help help now we have uh, created different sub menu but we need to define this language string so where we will define so let's um, view so our language file is loaded once our component is called but if I am here then my language file will not load if I write in the backend normal language file because this menu string will not replace that's why we need to write the menu lang uh, menu string in the system language file so whenever uh, we are in different place rather than our component the system language file will call fast so for this reason we have to define the system language file so this one so here we will define our language file and also uh, we can uh, comment in language file by semicolon menu language string now here we will define our others string like this one so create new task this one is list list tasks and one more this one is help documentation so we have defined in the language file now we have to create this task on the controller so that we can access so let's go to the controller backend controller controller.php now the create is auto, um, already created so now we need three so just copy paste so we have to create a function list task we can specify like list task and uh, help 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 now we have to write this 
in our normal backend language file. So for this list all tasks let's say welcome to list all task welcome to docs and uh, create is already present we can also add uh, normal text also without language string like in h1 this is help task input type equal to text anything just for demo purpose so we have created our task we have attached all these tasks to different sub menu we have specified the system language file the menu string as well as normal language file in the normal text so hopefully I have written everything correct and let's uh, create zip and install select compress three the backend extension manager install select the component three upload and install so successfully installed now go to the component here we can see we have three different tasks okay so that means we have successfully created our sub menu so if I click on the main one so here we can see that uh, we are not passing any task that's why the display function is calling welcome to my backend now let's click on the any sub task create new task here you can see welcome to create new task list task here you can see welcome to list all tasks these are all coming from the language string file so that in future you have to change something this text you don't need to change in your code just change the language file automatically it will affect if you want to translate your component to different language like Bengali, Hindi, Spanish so you can specify this in the language file you don't need to change in your hard code position ok so now if I click on the help and documentation here we can see th this is the language string this is normal text with the text box so how can we differentiate this is comes from language string and this is normal text by debug uh, by turning on the debug language portion so global configuration debug language save and close now visit to our component help documentation here you can see these text are within double star so that means this is replaced by language string but this is normal string so in this way you can create several sub menu in the future episode I will show you how to use the image icon like this one in menu so uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question just um, write comment below the video Thank you.